Hey guys, Ish from Ish Network here, and uh, today we will be t doing a speed test of the Galaxy Note 4 on Lollipop versus the Galaxy Note 4 on KitKat. So uh, without further ado, let's get to the test. And the race begins. We start the timer off on both. On the left we have the Note 4 running Lollipop, on the right we have the Note 4 running KitKat. As you can see, Lollipop screams through the dialer, the calculator, and now it's trying to load up Clash of Clans. Clash of Clans loaded on Lollipop, still being done, almost done on KitKat now, there we go. Um, Skype loading up done on uh, Lollipop whereas KitKat just finished. Now we have screamed through the settings and voice recorder whereas um, we are now loading Epic Citadel which is processor and graphics intensive. Here is where KitKat catches up though surprisingly. Um, it, was ma it managed to load Epic Citadel faster than the arts optimized Lollipop which struck me as quite odd. And uh, this is where it basically catches up. It's almost neck and neck. I'm um, trying to load up the YouTube app now. Um, Lollipop is done, whereas KitKat just started. Lollipop, ES File Manager, Milk Music, done. Um, now we are opening Google Earth, whereas KitKat just started. Google Earth has already started zooming into the location. Finishing up rendering the images on uh, Lollipop, there we go, whereas KitKat's still finishing up. Take a picture on the Lollipop, going into the gallery, loading it up, whereas KitKat has just managed to start the gallery. We are done. Now we are loading Amazon.com mobile site on the left. And now once it's done, we load the desktop site. KitKat catching up, loading up the desktop site. And uh, we are done on Lollipop. Loading it up again. I do see that the RAM is not enough and it has to reload the page. It opened up the gallery quite fast. Um, Lollipop just getting the gallery. Camera done on uh, Lollipop. Lollipop screaming through, loading up the apps again, whereas KitKat still a little slower and farther behind. YouTube does have to reload on both, and uh, this is pretty much where Lollipop loses to KitKat in terms of speed. Epic Citadel again loads faster, and uh, boom, KitKat actually loaded up all the apps in backwards order off the RAM faster than Lollipop, and as you can see, um, it actually screams through loading Epic Citadel. So KitKat is up first now, voice recorder, uh, settings, whereas Lollipop just a few milliseconds behind now. And here is where the difference is made. Clash of Clans loads faster on Lollipop than it does on KitKat. Almost done with the test now. And uh, there we go. The Lollipop barely managed to scrape ahead. And it's 235 versus 237. That's it guys. I just wanted to point out that on the rerun while reloading the apps on Lollipop, I did stutter for a second there on one of the apps. So um, you could say the difference in time was 3 seconds, 2.34 on Lollipop versus 2.37 on KitKat. Um, so basically, conclusions, Lollipop, obviously, overall, it is a faster, much smoother performing um, operating system than uh, Touchu is on KitKat. So a little caveat I found was that um, while loading up apps, Lollipop was significantly faster than KitKat, whereas KitKat struggled to load up apps. However, on the rerun on opening apps that have already been stored on the RAM, KitKat was actually faster than the Lollipop version to um, load up apps again. So that was obviously one little thing I did notice. So. Um, the overall edge Lollipop gained was in uh, the end where Clash of Clans loaded faster. So as you can see, there are some minor apps that do load faster on KitKat um, and then on Lollipop. So that's basically why that um, little very, very insignificant amount of three seconds is what the conclusion came out to. So um, look forward to my next video. Um, I probably won't be making any videos during the weekdays, but Probably next Friday, um, you could expect a video of whether or not explaining where you should upgrade to Lollipop or not. Until next time, I'm Ish Patel, and I'm out.